Hey, it's Doug from Rise Above Performance Training. And I want to know, are you training in the transverse plane? If not, I'm going to tell you what it is and show you how to work it into your workouts. Let's check it out. Simply put, the transverse plane is rotational movement. So whether you're you know, twisting or turning, those are movements we want to add in that are not normally done in weight training. If you think about it, a squat, a lunge, a press is in this one plane of movement, either sagittal or frontal, and we're not adding rotation. Life involves a lot of rotation. So just general life, picking things up, putting it over here uh, with your kids or boxes. Also sports, a lot of rotation, golf, soccer, even running has transverse plane attributes. So we do want to train that transverse plane and I'll show you how to do it different ways. One's going to be involving no equipment. One is involving a little bit of equipment and then some dynamic work that you can add in once you get strong and mobile. So I always recommend starting off with some type of mobility. You can put it in the beginning of your workouts and even sprinkle it through in between sets of bench press or squat. So some of the ones I like to do to train the transverse plane, we're going to start off with doing some mountain climbers with rotation. I'm going to stand an angle here. Now, mountain climber, we're not going to do the fast way. I'm going to take a step and I'm going to have my knee just outside my elbow and I'm going to rotate towards my front leg. And if I do it on the other side, I'm going to step out, sink a little bit. I like this knee off the ground and I'm going to rotate. One side may rotate a little bit easier than the other. Now there's another way to rotate, if I get good, is I'm going to rotate the other way. So I'm going to shift my weight and then rotate away from the leg that's forward. That is a little bit more challenging for most people. As you can see on that side, not as great. So that's something you want to work on and it's a great warm up to do before your actual lifting. Another one I like is a kick through. So we're going to be in a push up position. I'm going to lift one hand and then the opposite leg is going to rotate and kick through. I'm going to come back, shift my weight, turn, kick through. This is a great shoulder strengthener as well, but I'm working on rotation of my torso, shoulder, and even core. You can add this with the push-up as well. So push-up and rotation. I'm going to do one push-up and you can do these on bars or just the floor. At the top, I'm going to lock down and I'm going to rotate. You can kind of stack your feet Come back down, I like to re-push up. And then come over here. If the push-up's tough, just work on the rotational part of it. That's fine. Lastly, lunge and rotations are great. And you can add weight to this sometimes in our classes. We'll add a medicine ball to keep it safe. Um, and we don't do this too dynamically. We're gonna take it into two parts. So I'm gonna step either forward or back. So I'll step back on my one leg and I'm going to rotate. And if I have a ball, I'll be here and I'm going to rotate towards that front leg back and forth. So I saw people taking the two parts. One is setting up the lunge, pausing, rotating, coming back and then back to the standing position. Now what we don't want to do is as we're doing this is twist and turn and, and get all out of control. Uh, transverse plane training involves a lot of core stability. So we want to make sure that when we rotate, nothing collapses. We're staying still. We're really present of how our body's moving. And then that way we get the most out of that transverse plane. So there are some body weight options that you can do. Next, I'll show you some band and stability ball exercises. Bands are a great way to train the transverse plane because they're relatively safe. They have resistance that accumulates as you go through the range of motion and also really works deceleration with the transverse plane to build up the strength in the opposite direction. You can use cables if you have a gym 
uh, but bands work just as well and also they're pretty cheap so you can get them at home. Some of the ways we do it here is just a, a basic rotation. So I'm going to be here and what I'm going to do is shoulders are down and I'm going to move through that transverse plane and core and just rotate. And of course I would do both sides. I want a little tension to start and then I'm not letting this band pull me back. I am controlling myself coming back. So working that deceleration. The other thing is too is you can change the level. So sometimes we go low to high. So we're going in this 45. Um, sometimes we go high to low or even half kneeling kind of movement. So any type of rotation is good. Another one we do is a, with a press, a punch and press. So I'm going to keep it in here, shoulders down. I'm going to initiate from my leg and rotate and punch through. Now again, I'm not letting it fly back. I'm controlling it back, bringing it into the chest, smooth, punching out, and then controlling back. And I really feel my core and my legs decelerating me. So I generate the energy coming up the body, follow through with that punch, and then reverse. The punch is starting, and I send that energy back through the floor. So band is a good, cheap way to train the transverse plane effectively. One other one I'll show you with the stability ball. Most of you guys have this in a closet. It's probably deflated or your kids or your pets are playing with it. But it's a good one to work control and thoracic rotation. So you can get on the shoulders of the ball. Hips are going to stay up. I like to have my hands in this kind of prayer position. And I'm going to roll shoulder to shoulder. So I'm going to roll to one shoulder, stabilize, come back to the middle. I do recommend a little bit of a pause here and then rotating the other way. I'm only going to where I feel stable. So for me, this side's pretty good. This side's a little bit more challenging, so I'm going to kind of stop a little sooner and then come back. And then hopefully, as I um, get a little bit better, I can go a little bit further and work with it. One more that you can do is a sit up with a little transverse rotation at the top. So I can sit back and then as I come up, I'm going to rotate, come back to the middle, trying to be smooth. What I'm not doing is using the ball to get my body up and, oh, this is really easy. No, I'm trying to use my body to stabilize and then go into that transverse plane of movement and nice flow. So after those, we're going to do one more block of dynamic exercises after you build up this strength. So let's check that out. Now, once you have just general strength down and your body's not inhibited by rotational movement, you can do some things dynamically. Sports is dynamic, so it is good to train dynamically. It's not great to you know, not do any rotational movements at all or just work slow strength stuff and then go out there and do dynamic stuff. It just adds a whole nother level of stress onto the body and it's good to train that so you're capable of handling that stress and load. You can do rotational swings with a kettlebell. So traditional kettlebell swings are on this sagittal plane or right down the middle. Great exercise for power development, but we want to work the transverse plane. You can do this with a kettlebell. So what we're going to do is have our stance. I'll probably be a little bit narrower than a normal kettlebell two-arm swing stance. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate. I like to lift the foot just a little bit to take a little pressure off the knee. I'm not really twisting, but I'm just bringing it in this plane of movement. But I'm not twisting this way because the, well, the weight is a little bit uh, too much. It'll throw my body position off and I can hurt my back. So working this side to side is a good way to work transverse plane. We tend to use the Bulgarian bag in here a little bit more, but you may not have one at home. These are kind of a little bit of a nuanced uh, equipment, piece of equipment. So kettlebell works very good. You can even use a dumbbell, but if you have a Bulgarian bag, this is a great one where you can float it up, whip through, and I'm working that transverse plane that way. So those are two dynamic ones that I highly recommend to help your golf, tennis, running, any type of dynamic movement. If you like the video, please like it down below. Also consider subscribing as we put a new video about every other week. Thanks again for watching. Train that transverse plane, and we'll see you next time.